Our next step is to connect our receiver to our APM 2.8, which I have here. But this is going to be pretty much the same for any of the, the APMs out there, the audio uh, audio copter flight controllers. Now I am using a Radio Link R10D receiver because I have uh, a Radio Link transmitter. So this might not be the same for um, other types of transmitters. I'm going to be using the Radio Link. So if you have questions on the Radio Link transmitters and receivers, by all means, I can help you there. With others, unfortunately. Um, I cannot help you, but uh, I'm sure if you look around on YouTube, you will be able to figure out how to use other receivers. All right, um, just in case there are people who have decided to switch over to the Radio Link, the reason I use Radio Link is it's affordable and it's gotten good reviews and it's fast. And uh, yeah, let me just uh, give you a shot on the that is the Radio Link. R10D which I will be using and the cable configuration which I have back here let me just show you there we have our channels from this side to that side one two three four five up to six and I will be using channel nine uh, which will also be auxiliary and my power so that is what it looks like from the bottom and that is what it looks like from the top so heads up guys that is how i've set up this and i will be connecting these cables from this side through to that side on the same channels on my um, audio copter now i'm just going to turn this around just hold on for a second okay right and now we have our radio link receiver from channels one, two, three, four, up to six. And your audio copter runs from one up to eight, from left to right. And I am going to be connecting these. Now, some might ask, now why don't I use my servo cables up and down like everyone else does? Well, that's a waste of cable because these, uh, the middle port is positive and the bottom port is, is ground or negative. And um, giving it multiple connections is a waste because that's a single rail. So you're just <laughs> wasting cables. This is all pretty much all you need. Okay, so I'm gonna plug that into, obviously white is my first number one. Plug that in on that side. Okay, the next one. White is now four, which will match up with four here. And, uh, oh well, let's just connect the final one. Remember, white I have on the, the signal side, and red is center, which is my positive wire. And there we go. Right. I suppose just for those who are really interested, I'm going to bring it a little closer to this camera, just so you can see how I have connected those. So that's one through six, channel eight, which is actually goes to the uh, channel nine on the receiver. And yeah, it, it doesn't really matter, matter that much, but that is how I have decided and chosen to wire this. Now, what I have discovered when I was playing around trying to figure out where I'm going to put my receiver, it actually squeezes in here pretty well. So, I'm going to squeeze it in between these. Now, just so I don't damage this case, I'm actually going to loosen it slightly. Okay, so that is the two millimeter, if I remember correctly. Let's just double check. Yes, it's a two millimeter. And uh, yeah, it squeezes in there pretty tight. <laughs> I actually got it a little ways in earlier, but uh, I don't want to crack the case by squeezing it in. So I am going to loosen those so that lifts a little easier. And it's going to go in there. 
Now I'm not going to push it in all the way, I'm just going to get up to about there. I want this to hold on and I don't want to stick that down with glue or something funny, uh, which is going to be a mess. But I've got this stuff. This is a double sided tape. I'm, I'm sure if you go to some craft shops or stationery shops, you are going to find this stuff. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece there and a piece on top so that uh, it sticks down when I put it into that space. I'm just going to clean that off a little bit. Okay, now the sticky side, I'm going to use just a stick down. And fortunately, it's pretty much about the correct width as well. Awesome. And a piece for the top. Okay. Right, and now I'm going to pull off the back side. The tape is actually pretty thin, but it adds that grip, which is going to hold on. <coughs> I do apologize. Right, I'm going to lift that a little with my finger, and I'm just going to push it in far enough that it's still on the sides and that's all I need you really don't that is not already not going to go anywhere and I'm going to take these screws and I'm going to tighten them down again this keeps this entire thing very neat I like it and uh, you're actually quite lucky that the, the R10D receiver fits in there beautifully and that is not going to go anywhere we've got our antenna straight to the side um, you always try and keep these antennas as straight as you can. Um, and you've got it out of the way of wiring. These wires are not touching our flight controller, and that is pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Right.